face-to-face -face prophet. I know who I am. I'm not being arrogant. I know who I am. I'm not lying. I, you know, I would go to hell right now if I kept lying about Jesus appearing to me. I'm not lying. I talk with him face-to-face. -face. I know he's going to get some of them. Even my own sister. I led her to the Lord year, some years ago. Then she got around the church, started growing. She became a prophetess, very strong, strong prophetic gift. Leaders started honoring her, that kind of thing. And then one day, you know, I'm at my mom's them home. And my mom and all my, a lot of my sisters and brothers were there. And my, you know, the, the younger group, their children were there, which were my nieces and nephews. And I just started seeing they, they weren't living for God. The, you know, they didn't, their parents, you know, my sisters and brothers weren't really teaching them the things of God like our parents taught us. Amen. And I just had a come to Jesus meeting <laughs> right there in the living room. <laughs> That's right. I just started telling them, you know what, you're disrespectful. You need to give your life to God. I mean, I just started breaking that demon on them. And they started crying. And before you know it, their hands were up giving their life to Jesus. But my sister, who's a prophetess, saw that. And she tried to jump in and say, God has given me a word for you. I'm, I'm in the middle of leading somebody to the Lord. I, I, God has given me a word for you. It's a corrective word. I, I looked at her. I said, you better go sit down right now who do you think you are what kind of word god, listen i talk to god face to face why i need to listen to you i don't have to listen to you i said go sit your butt down and my mom was trying to say now and calm down now she got upset and, and she saw we were about to get into it that's right because i don't play no foolishness and just just back away don't, just leave david alone let him minister to the people blah 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 and she constantly going on getting mad and i looked at her i said because of your disrespect to me i said i ain't just your little brother because i'm younger than her i said i'm not just your little brother i talked to god face to face i said to show you that your offer your prophet as an off your office as a prophetess is not greater than who i am i said your mouth will break out in blisters and you will be in the hospital that you may know that i am the established authority here she got mad. My mom just said, and just go home, blah, blah, blah. A week later, she's in the hospital with blisters on her mouth. I just had another prophetess try to, you know, uh, text me, saying, you know, da, da, da stuff, and then start saying, you know, I'm going to bring you under accountability. The prophetess who got no more sheets. I, I, I text her. I said, you better shut your tail up. I said, I don't care how many people you've ministered in front of. I said, you are nothing in front of me. I said, you have not talked to God face to face. Go sit down and be quiet. I don't care if you've been on the scene before me. You need to shut up and submit to this power. That's right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell leaders that are under me to bring you an accountability. I said, go get those suckers. Tell them to come and get me. during punks most of them are punks in the church they talk a lot of stuff but they won't get into no real fight it's just a bunch of talk try me see if my power is great see if what i got is true i know he's gonna back me i don't know about you come on y'all ain't talking to me i don't care who you are don't you ever approach me with no prophetic mess thinking that you are above this rank. You don't even talk to God face to face continually. You should shut up and be respectful. <laughs> I even rebuked Joyce Myers pastor. He tried to come against me and have a massive church. These people think because they have a massive church. 8,000, 10,000 people, and because they are hooked up with big names, God, listen, you will not escape from me. It don't matter how big your, your ministry is, God ain't going to let you escape. Yeah. going to try to come at me and, you know, try to destroy my ministry, get up publicly. And I called him on the phone. I said, and, and, and once I heard he did that, because we were friends and I loved him, but the Lord came to me in a dream that night after he had publicly spoke evil of me in front of 10,000 people some years ago in 2005. God came to me in a dream. Jesus was there. He says, I'm going to get him for what he did. Amen. You see, a relationship with God is bigger than a pastor. Yes. See, if I'm lying right now, God wouldn't back me. But he came to me in a dream that night, in a dream that night, and said, I'm going to get him. And he says, I'm not going to heal him, number one. Number two, the 10,000 people he have, I'm going to scatter everyone. He will not have 
uh, he will not be a gatekeeper in this city no more because he has dishonored my rank with you. I called him on the phone. I had his personal cell phone. I said, you know, uh, Jesus came to me. I heard what you did uh, on Sunday in front of the people and you cut me down publicly. He says, yeah, I did that. I said, that's fine. I said, uh, Jesus came to me last night in a dream, told me what he's going to do to you. I said, you will not be a gatekeeper in St. Louis no more. I said, you think because you have Joyce Myers, she's going to protect you? She will not be able to stop this. No matter how big her ministry is, she ain't bigger than this. I, I said, everybody you got is going to scatter from you. You're going to lose your church. You're going to lose your building, your multi-million dollar building. I said, Jesus also told me this is another thing. He said, I'm going to cause all his money to go flat where he have no more millions. A few years passed by, it happened. He lost his building, lost all the money. He is sick as a dog, and he is still trying to attack me today. And got nothing but 200 members in St. Louis from 10,000. Do you understand? I, look.